Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. That was a little weird, but that's okay. Uh, we are back. I wanted to get this one in. This is a little tough, a little tricky to make money on, but I wanted to get in on this. Um, we're going to get into Patty Donovan. He's fighting somebody named Williams Herrera, who is uh, – we, we got some tape on him. Um, but I'm a big fan of Patty Donovan, so I wanted to get in on this. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing. Uh, 3D Boxing Blog and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, uh, but I know what I'm doing. I've consistently shown you. I was 2-0 again on Thursday. I'm showing you how to do this. Uh, also, join my Patreon. <clears throat> you get the lock of the week. Uh, you get quick hits. Um you get like you, you can uh, get a full scouting report. You get a free T-shirt. You get you get everything uh, and a lot more for just five dollars a month. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's. Also, please uh, follow me on Texas Boxing Scene. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's let's get into it. Patty Donovan, Southpaw, quick, elusive. Maybe the best prospect to come out of Ireland in quite some time. Doesn't fight like your traditional Irish fighter. He's athletic, a mover. Um, he's good. There's a lot to like about him. Slick. He's, he's a southpaw. Uh, jab. He, he's quick with it. He's really, really hard to hit. He works from a ton of angles. He's also comfortable coming forward, right? Like, you know, he's not really walking you down. But he'll come forward and fire off a combination, you know, a, a left hook, right hand, pop, pop, and then get out of it. He's a really good finisher, right? He's not just a slick mover. He's not just a back foot guy like you might think. There's more gears to him. He's, he's a really good prospect. Like, there's more to him than just being super slippery and super elusive. He's got super quick re reflexes, obviously. He really controls the ring. He controls distances. He gets in and out on you. He, he'll come forward and unleash on you. Like I said, he's hyper athletic. He's a good fighter. This is not. This is a kid with a future. Now he's a welterweight. He's five nine, but he's got a long reach. I couldn't find his reach, but you can tell he, he's rangy. He's a little rangier than his five nine indicates. He's defensively, you know, responsible. He's a really good defensive fighter. Good feet. Good angles. Doesn't come straight in. He's not. Easy to manhandle either. You know what I'm saying? You can't bully him because he's got a little bit of pop. You know, I, I, I'm interested in seeing how his pop stands up against. I, I'm not. I, I want to see how his pop stands up as he moves up the ladders. They're not moving him quickly. He's 12 and 0, nine knockouts. And I'm wondering if the reason why they're not moving him is because they have some questions about his power. If they're really trying to establish him. Because he'll sit down on his punches in spots when he wants to. And, he, and it seems like his pop might be okay. He's got nine knockouts. Now, he, I'm not, he's not a one-hitter quitter. He's not going to get rid of you in a hurry. But it's kind of like a Caleb Plant thing. Where he's, like, he, he's not feather-fisted either. He's not somebody you can just, you know, he's just going to score on you and score on you and not really do it. He's not pulling on odds. He's not Hector Tanahara. He's not – he's got – at least respectable power, it appears. Uh, you know, he doesn't have great power, but I, I want to see how it progresses. Can he still stop people? Can he kill, can, can still continue to stop people as he moves up? You know, he's a world-class counterpuncher already. He's 25, 12 fights, world-class counterpuncher. Uh, like I said, the, 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 I'm sorry, the right hook, left hand. I said it backwards before he used the The right hook, left hand, he puts it. It, it's money. He lands with the straight left hand with accuracy. He's good. He's sharp. He's athletic. He's hard to hit. And I think he's got respectable power. He's a good fighter. You know, moving up at 147 is always difficult. It's, it's historically one of the best divisions in the sport. Always. It's not at the moment. But there's enough prospects who can change that quickly. Who's he fighting? Williams Herrera. What do we know about Williams Herrera? He ain't that good. I'm not trying to hate from Argentina. 
There's not much to like about him. Uh, this is good matchmaking done done by Eddie. He, they, they're gonna. He's slow. He's plotting. He doesn't. He's not always aggressive, but you can see that that's kind of his mo. Is he likes to come forward. He's super easy to hit. Patty Donovan is going to tee off on this guy. He's Argentinian. He's tough. He's got a good chin. He's not a big hitter. He's not quick. As a matter of fact, he's slow. He's so wide open when he comes in. He's so easy. He's super easy to tag on the way in. Slow and plotting. He can get a little bit wild. Like I, I just think like this is, if you want to make Patty Donovan really shine, if you want to showcase him, if you want him, if you don't really want to, test him super hard, and you want to showcase him, you want to make him look like a superstar, you want to build to his highlight reel, you want to, you want to build up his mixtape, it's the fight. It's the fight. You know, he doesn't sit down on his punches. He's an arm puncher with, with, without much power. You know, he's decent on the inside. He can throw some nice shots on the inside. They don't seem like there's a whole lot of gusto on him. He said the best thing about him is he can stand up. And, that, and that's what makes his fight difficult to, to bet on. He's difficult to hit. I mean, he's not difficult to hit. I mean, he's difficult to stop. He's got a good chin, and he's got a good gas tank, so he can keep going. But he's so there to be hit, and Donovan is so fast, and he's so got such quick reflexes. And I got it, and the other guy is so easy to hit, right? Like he, I, I'm pretty confident Patty's going to stop him. The, the question simply becomes, what round? Does he stop him? Like, I don't see it being any more than that. Let's pull it up. Let's take a look. What I'm looking at, let's share the screen. Let's take a little look-see. So, Patty Von Donovan, and rightfully show, so, is a minus 3,000. 30 to 1 favorite, basically. And it ain't wrong. So, I'm going to do it two times better than that. It's going to make you 7 bucks. Okay? Patty Donovan by KO, TKO, DQ. Still not paying great. I'm going to bet on that. One times bet, fifty bucks. Uh, a half a bet. A half a bet is going to make me thirteen, uh, thirteen, fifteen. So between the two bets, I'm making twenty bucks on a three hundred dollar bet. The over, I'm going to take the over because this guy is rugged. He is durable. He does have a good chin. I might miss on this. I'm going to do a one times bet on this. I'm going to say it goes over five and a half. If the fight goes the distance, which I, I, I really don't see, I actually hit on this. and it, it helps cover some of our losses. But we're betting $300 to win, what is that, 41 and 20 $61. I think we're safe. Um, I like this a lot. The worst case scenario is it goes under five and a half rounds, which is highly possible. And you still make some money on fight with, you know, it, this is a tough fight to bet. Um, you know, we, we got to root for a knockout, you know, in, in the last two and a half rounds of this fight. It's a scheduled eight rounder. So we got to root for. It's just not a lot of money to make on this fight because Patty Donovan so outclassed this guy. I want to see him move Patty Donovan around pretty, you know, much quicker than what they're doing. Patty Donovan is a real prospect. Get him to win here, showcase him to the world, build up this mixtape, and then let's get him a real fight. Let's let let's get him in with a, with a, with, a, with a hitter. Let's get him in with, with someone who can really stand up because uh, Herrera ain't gonna stand up to him. This is gonna be an outclassing. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. But that's what we're doing. We're taking Patty Donovan. Uh, we're taking Patty Donovan by stoppage. And we're taking them uh, over at five and a half rounds, which is the one I really don't feel that comfortable about. But it's the only way, one we're really making money. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie in all forms of social media. Please also subscribe to our Patreon. That's at 3D Boxing, uh, the Boxing Bookie. That's on Patreon for just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you a free T-shirt, which is, you know, gold. And, uh, yeah. Then uh, get your scouting report. You can request a fight. Let me know if you guys want want me to break down a fight. I will do it for you. If you join the Patreon, that's just $5 a month. And you can just clean up right there. I mean, between the free T-shirt and getting the lock of the week, plus being able to 
pick a fight you want me to handicap you guys it, it just doesn't cost money it makes money also subscribe to texas boxing scene on youtube that is texas boxing scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery it is january 26 2024 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3 boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.